What's going on everyone? I'm here with another Tesla self-driving update. This one is 14.2.2.3. I haven't really had much time to drive with it yet, so we'll get to take a look for the first time together, see if there's anything different. Let's get started. All I do is hit the start self-driving button and the car will drive me to my destination, which I have set right now as UCLA. Now, if you haven't tried Tesla self-driving, you have to give it a try. You can watch a video like this on YouTube or X, but nothing really compares to actually being in the car yourself, experiencing this thing driving. And I really believe that if you haven't experienced Tesla self-driving, you haven't experienced true self-driving. Now, some people would say, well, with FSD, you have to be in the driver's seat. Isn't, you know, true self-driving really driverless? And I would say, yeah, if you haven't experienced a truly driverless car, whether it's Waymo or Tesla in Austin or Zooks, you haven't experienced true self-driving either. But there's something really special about using self-driving on a car that is yours your own car, a car you can keep where you want rather than somebody else's car. Being able to go not just within a predefined set of areas, but being able to go anywhere, being able to even take a long road trip and drive thousands and thousands of miles. And most of all, a car that really drives like human. I mean, the first thing you'll notice, and I would actually recommend people go compare Waymo, if it's available in your area, Zooks, and what Tesla self-driving feels like. The model is so advanced that it has a smoothness and comfort that is a serious level above anything from any of the competitors, anything from Way Waymo or Zooks or anybody else. And I think you'll be able to see that right away. So not only is the comfort and smoothness at a very high level where you'll see it handling tricky situations and not even notice because it just does it so smoothly. When you're on the highway and traffic stopping up ahead, the way it'll slow down smoothly, you won't even notice that traffic slowed down. It's that good. And the reaction time is just out of this world you'll see it reacting to things in a split second, really faster than any other uh, system I've experienced. But more than that, you've got modes like Mad Max mode, which is the mode I'm in right now. Tesla has a few different driving modes, Mad Max, Hurry, Standard, Chill, and Sloth, which is the slowest mode. So depending on how you like to drive, how fast you like to drive, how often you want to make lane changes to go around slow cars, things like that, you can pick the profile that suits you. And the profile that I've chosen, Mad Max, which is the most aggressive profile, really combines everything you love about autonomous driving and manual driving. I love letting a robot drive my car and just kicking back and relaxing sometimes, but other times you want to get where you're going quickly. You don't want to waste any time. For that, manual driving can be better. Um, and sometimes it's just fun to drive manually. Mad Max mode applies the personality of an aggressive human driver. It won't wait too long behind a truck or a slow car and waste your time. It's a self-driving system that really drives just like an aggressive human. Like you can see how it's merging into the 405 here. This is not easy stuff, even for someone who lives here. But the AI just makes it drop dead easy and seamless. And it's not doing anything too crazy, but it's just assertive enough to make sure that I merge onto the freeway correctly, that I'm able to make sure I don't miss my exit when I have to get on the interchange in a few miles make sure that I don't get in any collisions with other cars 
that are sharing the freeway with me. And it can do this all with just computer vision. All right, we're merging one lane in further. And now we're in the far left lane. And you can see the car accelerating up to highway speed, keeping in line with the other cars. And it's just an insanely smooth and comfortable ride. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say this product will change your life. And you can actually go and take a test drive. It's free and all the cars have the self-driving software on it. So if you're in the US or Canada, go take a test drive. You can go try this in your own neighborhood and see how it performs. I think you'll be very surprised. And you can actually use my referral link. If you go to tesla.coupons, you can sign up for a test drive there. Or you can order a Tesla with that link, tesla.coupons, and you'll actually get three months of FSD free or up to $1,000 off the car if you pick the Model S or X or Cybertruck. For most people, I would recommend the Model 3 or Y. Those are Tesla's lowest cost models and really the models that are designed to be just kind of a great car for everybody. But if you can afford to spend a little more, I would recommend you take a look at the Model S or the Model X or the Cybertruck. The Model S and X come with this I forgot what they call it, I think the Lux package. That comes with free self-driving included in the car, free unlimited charging, so you can go road trip all around the country, drive anywhere, and it's free. Um, as well as, I think, a windshield protection package, so, you know, your windshield gets a rock chip or whatever, they'll replace it. Um, I think a wheel and tire protection package, so you get a flat tire, something happens to your wheel, all covered. It's really kind of an incredible deal, right? You're going to be paying, you know, six figures for a Model S or X or 80000 plus for a Cybertruck. But then you've got everything included. You can just self-drive around the country as much as you want for free. That's, I think, a pretty cool offer. No other automaker here in the United States could really offer that. And the Cybertruck, man, the Cybertruck is just a really fun vehicle to drive. And a really great vehicle for self-driving because of the comfort, how much space there is. So definitely take a look at those as well, but yeah, go give it a try. It'll really change your life. Having a car that's fun to drive when you want to drive it, but when you have something else on your mind, when you have your hands full, you can just push a button and have it drive you there exactly like a human would. It's a life changer. And you haven't really experienced self-driving until you've experienced Tesla's version of self-driving. Self-driving on your own car that can drive you anywhere. While you, know, you have the car to yourself, you can keep it there parked with you. You can keep your stuff inside. This is the way self-driving is really gonna be in the future. So you can see we're here on the freeway now, 405, pretty heavy traffic. This is the kind of driving that makes people here in Southern California pull their hair out and you just have to deal with it every day. And you're probably spending 30 minutes to an hour a day just sitting in traffic like this. When people say they love to drive, this isn't what they're talking about. And with self-driving, it's just easy. Honestly, if you live in California, especially Southern California, do yourself a favor and stop wasting your life sitting in traffic like this. Get Tesla self-driving. They'll even let you use your phone a little bit now so I can pull out my phone. I can maybe, you know, check my email, check what's on Hacker News and you start to get that time back, that time that you were wasting on the road, you can do other things. You can make calls, you can get your work done ultimately. Um, although, you know, there is attention monitoring. You do have to pay attention to the road, obviously. You can see the car is handling everything for me. I have my hands free. 
I do want to keep a hand ready to take over, but if I'm eating a burger and want to do that with one hand or something like that, it's a lot easier when you don't have to worry about driving and the car's handling steering and accelerating and braking for you. We need to get off on Sunset Boulevard, which is in a little less than a mile. For most cars, this is gonna be a pretty tough situation for automatic lane changes. Did you see that? Just as I changed lanes, another car tried to change lanes into the same lane, and the Tesla reacted instantaneously getting out of the way. This is the kind of protection it offers. You might think, oh, well, I can drive just fine on my own, but this thing has a reaction time that is actually going to beat yours. It's going to keep you safer compared to if you had to watch driving alone without any AI backup. Like that car that was merging into my lane, totally wasn't paying attention to that. I was looking forward. If, you know, that, that could have potentially been a collision if I hadn't noticed and if I hadn't had FSD on. You can see this guy was trying to change into my lane the car slowed down, it assumed a defensive position, and then ultimately changed lanes to the far right. I'm gonna go ahead and save that dash cam clip so I can include it in the video and show how quick that reaction was. And you're gonna see this a lot as you try Tesla self-driving. You don't have to drive for long, you know, maybe even in the first hour, you're gonna see scenarios where it's reacting to things so quickly that you might not have even seen uh, what it was trying to avoid. And we're now exiting on Sunset Boulevard. We got the Getty Center up on the hill there. And we're gonna be making a right turn onto Sunset Boulevard headed to UCLA, Royce Hall. The car has correctly entered the far right lane, getting ready to make a right turn. But there's other traffic driving on Sunset Boulevard right now, so it's going to wait its turn, wait for everything to be clear, and now it's gone ahead and made that right turn. Sunset Boulevard itself is kind of a tricky road to drive on, a winding road with high-speed traffic, but that's no problem for Tesla self-driving. In about 1.4 miles, we're gonna be making a right turn onto Royce Drive. We've got a car merging in. Notice how FSD predicted that they would merge in, slow down appropriately, and just handled it completely smoothly. If I wasn't paying attention, I wouldn't have even noticed that a car merged in at all. All right, this car is turning right. Our car slowed down and then accelerated after they had turned out of the way. And we're less than a mile away now from our right turn. The AI is continuing to follow every twist and turn in Sunset Boulevard. And it's just a beautiful day, a smooth, comfortable ride. Honestly, when I get in my car and I'm just having it drive me around California, enjoying the view, listening to music, it's just like you're in heaven. Really the part of the day where I just feel so at peace and so happy, no matter what I'm trying to do. Even if I'm going to traffic court or 
some doctor's or dentist appointment I don't want to go to. It makes it fun when you've got a car that can just take you there while you sit and watch. It really is the ultimate luxury. You might go to the dealer and they might try and sell you on some massage seats or, you know, whatever cool feature they've got this year on their high-end cars. But honestly, for me, save the massage seats, save whatever fancy useless feature you've come up with that I don't actually need. The ultimate luxury is really not having to drive. The ultimate luxury is not being stressed about trying to maintain the safety of, I, of you and your passengers, of having a car that is looking in all directions and can protect you. All right, we're entering UCLA here. We're getting close to our destination. Got some kind of hills in the road and that doesn't affect the AI at all. And the car's now entering a parking garage. Now that it's arrived at its destination, it's actually going to go and look for a parking spot and just park. And it looks like it's found a nice spot. And there we go, we parked. And you can actually see it parked right in the line. So this is what any Tesla can do that you can buy today, whether you buy the Model S, the Model 3, the Model X, the Model Y, the Cybertruck, all of them have full self-driving. And all of them can drive you from parking spot to parking spot without any human intervention. You don't have to touch the steering wheel. You don't have to touch the pedals unless you want to, unless you want to drive for fun. In some cases, I think the steering wheels are going to start gathering cobwebs and uh, ultimately then I think they're going to start removing them from their cars. So forget what you think you know about electric vehicles. Forget what you think you know about Tesla. Just go try this software, Tesla Full Self Driving. It's going to change your life. I guarantee it. You can go take a test drive for free. Order a car with my code tesla.coupons and you can get three months of FSD free when you order a car. Um, go check it out. I think you'll like it. I think when you actually experience it, it's much crazier than even this video can convey. So thanks for watching. That's the brand new FSD 14.2.2.3. And it's here. It's available on any Tesla you can buy. And it'll change the way you travel It'll change the way you commute. I can't recommend it strongly enough to anyone who spends any amount of time in the car.